You know, as Christians, uh, one thing I've realized is you get, especially in the beginning, you'll be determined that you never will you make an enemy out of anybody. You'll try to live with peace uh, with everybody. Someone offends you, you just ignore them, you go on and all. But up until you go to a point where you find someone who pushes your button to an extent that if you can't block them out of your life completely, they will keep harassing you. That's why even Jesus at some point, especially in the book of John, at a time when he spoke about that, unless people drink his blood and eat his flesh, they will not be born again and all. And people started to think like it's a blasphemy. How can he expect us to eat, drink his blood? This is witchcraft and whatever was going on in their minds. Though the Bible says many of his disciples left him, stopped following him. And few remained. And he was like, and you? Why are you still remaining? Meaning he did not care. Given that he knew that what he was saying was God and was the truth. Rather, he had nobody following him while he's in truth and he's still right with the Lord done. He have majority of people following him for false doctrine. What I'm saying to you is even Jesus was not scared to lose people. To cut people off his life. So get long they are wrong in his cycle. Delete that contact. Please, you know, I'm speaking to someone directly, but it's also an advice to everybody. But when you're going through this and you don't know what to do, you feel like, but God wouldn't be a sin. Evaluate that person. Some people, they deserve to be blocked. Some people, they deserve to be cut off completely because the more you allow them, they become more and more toxic. They don't stop. They don't know where to stop. So long you warn them and you try to stop them, they refuse, then the only option is to block or else they're going to make you worse. The enemy will use them to take advantage of you and your kindness. I pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. May God help you to discern and to know when to not be taken advantage of in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm Ishmael N and that's all I had. My details are on the description of the video below. Bye-bye.